Master, sir, HMS Rival has been sunk by the Japanese. That ship was carrying 942 souls. And no one outside the British Naval Command was supposed to know it was coming. We're not just looking for a murderer anymore, gentlemen. We're looking for a spy. We have reasons to believe that military intel is being leaked to the Japanese through certain brothels. Not my house. You know my stand against the Japanese. And I know my girls inside out. It can't be them. I want to clear my girls of any suspicion. So tell me, what can I do? We'll plant a Japanese newspaper at your establishment with an innocent bit of fake news. So if there is a spy, and that's a big if, she will not resist taking a read at the papers. Does anyone know the price of Chinese silk these days? Oh, I can ask a friend. He has the most exquisite colours and the best silk. I think you better hold off Fuyang. The Japanese are attacking the Chinese ships. Supply is low here. Silk will be expensive. Forgive me, Fu Yang. I've left a small burnt mark on your blue dress. Please take the money from my wages to buy a new one. We've been through so much together. What's a ruined dress between old friends? We are old friends, aren't we? It doesn't seem so long ago when I was left by my master on Sago Lane to die from malaria. You cleaned me, fed me, and you stayed by my side when I was shivering from the fever. You are more than an old friend. You are my family. I remembered I had to force that drink down your throat. You brought me back to life. And for that, you're like a sister to me. I fear I'll never be able to repay you. Your loyalty all these years. Consider your debt more than paid. Enough of that. Are you going to see that good-looking inspector? Yes. I've never seen you like this. Are you really taken with him? Or is all pretend? When have men served any other purpose other than paying the bills or being of some use to us? Men are so easy. Stroke their egos and they're happy. Stroke something else and your wish is their command. <sighs> I'm sure you have that inspector wrapped around your finger. But you still have to be careful. Why? Do we know if he has any other intention besides investigating Lo Cessnaffield's death? Like? I don't know. But my instinct tells me he's up to something. 
There you are. Beautiful as always. Thank you. I better go. You haven't gone to see her yet. She needs to know. So she made You need to do it soon. I need to put all these tapes back in the archives. Technically, I'm not even supposed to have them. Look, I don't know what happened between the both of you, but this is important. If nothing else, it could convince her to not sell the shop house to the highest bidder. I know. I'll come back for the tapes tomorrow. Go see her now. What's wrong? She's been with me for so many years. I trust in her with my life. Do you think there might be any chance that we could be wrong about her? It's not what you want to hear, but... I've always suspected her. She was the most likely among all your girls. Why? You need nerves of steel to spy for the likes of the Japanese. Other than you, She's the only one who has it. So you thought I was a spy? At first. But can you blame me? You came out of nowhere and started House of Phoenix. You had needed money, or at least someone to back you. I didn't know you back then. If I knew what I know now. And the murder investigation? What about it? Was that just a ruse to distract us from what you were really investigating? It was a good cover. But it is still an ongoing investigation. We need to find out who Ayok reports to. I can have her followed. No. That's too dangerous. I'll have my men do it. You need to carry on like you normally do. The last thing we need right now is for her to suspect we're onto her. I'll also assign some officers to watch the house. Won't that be suspicions? You can say they're there to protect you from Lose. It's not too far from the truth. I want to understand. How did you get entangled with the likes of Atto all those years ago? Believe me when I say this. All I care right now is that you're safe from Lose and the authorities. I can plead your case if you want. I know now that whatever you did, it came from a good place. You're a good person. So please, help me help you. Hi.
I have something important to tell you. I'm listening. Gerald found some old tape recordings. What? I thought you were going to apologize. For what? Wow. You really are something. One day you care about me, and the next I'm like yesterday's newspapers. What are you, Jekyll and Hyde? I thought you don't watch movies. I read. Whatever. I need to let you listen to this. I don't care. Wait. I think I know who your great grandfather is. I can imagine that trust is an attribute which is foreign to you. But I swear, I just want to know the facts so I can protect you. I had a wonderful childhood. Come and catch me! My parents loved me enough to give me an education, which you can imagine is quite rare in those days. Then one day when I was about 15, I came home and I saw my parents with a merchant named Ho. He inspected me like a piece of meat in the market. My legs. My father wanted me to marry him. He was rich, but he was also a 70-year-old man with his hands covered in warts. I couldn't understand why my father was doing that to me. I begged and I begged him, but... But her father's mind was made up. She was devastated. But even at such a young age, she knew she wouldn't let her fate be decided by someone else. She ran away from home and never saw her parents again. She got work serving drinks at a coffee shop. It was there that she met him. He was so charming. After two months, he asked me to marry him. I thought my life was going to change for the better. He had money, and he promised that he'll take care of me. Everyone thought my knight in shining armor has arrived. Lucky me. The honeymoon period didn't last very long. Atto started bringing different girls home. The first time he hit Feng Lai was when she questioned him about it. One day, he brought a Mazi home. She dressed Feng Lai in a beautiful dress and painted her already pretty face. She was then brought to a prostitution den. He sold me to the highest bidder that night, but that was not the last I saw of him. He would beat me if I tried to run away. Starve me if I disobeyed. Fill my body with all kinds of drugs to numb my mind. And you know what? He would rape me to remind me of my place in his world. That I was nothing but an object deemed for pleasure. I can listen to any more of this. It's okay. We can stop. No, wait. Keep playing. All right. Fun 
Wen started learning the trade. In no time, she had mastered skills that would have put the most experienced prostitutes to shame. She became the most famous working girl in town. She stole some money and made her escape. By this time, she knew no other life than the one she hated, but was good at. She used the money to start. Stop the tape. So you think this inspector was my great grandfather? Feng Lan had a child and he believed it was the father. It's in here somewhere. So why did you kill him? You could have just ran away. I could have. But he started inflicting the same torture on Sofan. She reminded me of myself when I was younger. Except that she was weaker. She looked up to me like a big sister, so I had to do something. Give my lord! Dare tell me what to do? <laughs> <laughs> I never intended to kill him. But why did you poison him first? I didn't. But he had traces of poison in him. Well, he did look a bit weak, but I just thought he was drunk. But you did chop him up into pieces and threw him in the river. Would you believe if I said I didn't? All these years I've wondered who did it. What about Ayat? Yeah. People said they saw a woman. A woman wearing expensive bright charms and walking away from where the body was found. Not many people could afford that. Was it you? It wasn't me. Feng Wen saw her life as a tainted one. She told me she wouldn't wish it on anyone else, especially someone she cares about. That meant we couldn't be together, but we were friends till the day she died. She pushed her own daughter away as well, so she wouldn't have to be associated with her mother's dark past. It broke Feng Lan's heart when Yi Xin, our granddaughter, moved to Hong Kong. I fear she never fully recovered from that heartbreak. There was a silver lining, knowing that our granddaughter had named her own daughter after her. It all makes sense now. 
My mom and grandma had so many huge fights many years ago. My mom had come back to Singapore secretly, but I didn't know why then. Now, my mom would have wanted me to know my grandma. She obviously cared a lot about her. I just wish my mom told me all this. I would have understood her a lot better. That's not happening again. I wouldn't want to make you do anything that doesn't mean anything to you. You don't want to talk. What does that mean? I saw that message you sent to Harry. What message? Really? You want to play that game? I believe the exact words you used were that night with Gorbon was a huge mistake. He's a nobody. He means nothing to me. I never wrote that, much less sent that to Harry. Really, why would I go all the way to the nursery and tell you all those things if I had written something like that? And you sent the message. Harry? Where are you going? Chan Lo Ye is coming this evening, and I need to make his special soup. But I ran out of herbs. You know, he needs help getting it up. But you always prepare it in the morning. I forgot. You never forget. Must be getting old. You're needed here. Chan Lo Ye can go without his herbs tonight. Xiu Lan have to work extra hard there. I won't be long for you. I've been protecting Feng Wang Go for so long. Heard so much about it. It's high time I taste the goods for myself. Is everything all right, Madame? Wow. You have the police as a personal bodyguards now, Madam. Are you in some kind of danger? With some of Wei's protection, there's no need for the police. Madam Feng Lan, is there... There's no problem here, officer. Please leave. I'm sure you have more important things to do. What does your heart desire today, Seye? Perhaps some opium to start? The heart desires more than opium. Let me bring out the girls then. Good to see you here. Hello. Good to see you too. I would like to buy some parts from you. Oh, what kind of... Sir. What are you doing here? Lose is at the House of Phoenix. A 
Let's go. I woke up this morning and told myself, today is going to be a good day. I will finally satisfy a long overdue desire. And each that can't be satisfied by these cheap goods. <laughs> And that's why the madam herself will pleasure me. Fuyan does not entertain Of course, when Seer honors us with his presence, I must personally entertain. Come, let me make you more comfortable. I have a story you might like. Should I tell it to you? I should be the one entertaining you, Seiya. After all, that's what you paid for. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Fei Choi. Fei Choi worked in a grotto in Malacca. Grotto owned by my son. was a sad, sad story. But I'm finished. In my leg. Oh. 
I haven't finished my story yet. So, Fei Chui came down south. And it was here that she started her own brothel. And guess what? He became famous for having the best girls. I suppose this was inevitable since the madam is so skilled. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know who this Feito is, but it isn't me. Bad things seem to happen wherever Feito was. Oh. Needs to be punished. See, I shh. Think carefully before you say another word. Punishment befitting. Wait, wait. Is there something you want to say? You got the wrong person. Wrong answer. The end. Let her go. She's not the one you want. She killed my son and nephew. Say it. You got the wrong person. How can I trust you? You have already mixed business and pleasure with this bitch. You know I don't lie. You are making a big mistake. I'm not going to tell you again. Let her go, or I will shoot. Lie to me. I'll kill you myself.